Hey everybody, so we're halfway through the election campaign and I thought we'd take a look at what the various parties stand for, seeing as how we've not had Ed Miliband chiselling anything onto a demented novelty gravestone this year. Uh, the Conservatives are fairly miles in the lead following Theresa May's media strategy of keeping Boris and all the other gaff-born MPs away from a microphone. Uh, she's promising to deliver a Brexit and finally put an end to Nick Clegg and Tony Blair, who increasingly resemble those Japanese soldiers that were still up in the mountains decades after the war had ended. Uh, Labour, they want to pile loads of money into schools and hospitals, but the biggest spending commitment is probably the suggestion of bringing both the post office and the railways back into public ownership, although that might be doable, um, seeing as our carbon winning would probably trigger the mother of all stock market crashes, and those raw mail shares would be very cheap then for the government to buy, and in all honesty, I doubt that Jeremy Corbyn could do worse than Southern Rail. The Green Party manifesto, that's mostly made up of all the things that Jeremy Corbyn thought were a bit too left-wing for Labour, but say what you will, the Greens do have a, an honest view of where they stand with regards to Europe. Um, it seems a bit inconsistent to me, though, seeing as all the European stuff that people actually enjoy, like sports cars and chorizo and cheap flights to Spain, are the same things that the Green Party probably want to ban. Um, also in the pro-EU core are the Liberal Democrats, who don't like Theresa May's decision to trigger Article 50 and think that the public should keep getting a say at every opportunity until they get it right. Uh, not to be outdone, the SNP want a second Brexit referendum, and they also want a second independence referendum too. Um, both of them also promise a lot more money for schools, presumably because with all that extra voting, local primary schools will be needing to spend that money upgrading their parking facilities. That just leaves UKIP. Uh, they want to make sure that the Conservatives don't go soft in Brussels. Um, for people like me, though, who live in a really boring safe seat, and you're, if you're looking to waste your vote, check out the Monster Raving Learning Party. They've got a great manifesto this year. Uh, they think that the UK should quit Europe, but go further and join the Duchy of Cornwall to benefit from tax exemptions. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click on the channel to subscribe.